Hi, how you doing? Today we're going to show you how to use the fabric spray paint. Before you do anything, you should, if you haven't already, read the directions which you can get at fabricspraypaint.com. This stuff has a built-in UV protector to resist fading. Um, it has a propellant used in food products like Cheese Whiz, so you can use it inside without any ventilation. Taking an older faded cushion, it has some stains in it. We're going to rejuvenate it. We're going to test the uh, material to see if it is the if the, the spray paint's going to work. And it has to absorb a little bit of water. Now it might beat up a little bit when you first put it on, like a lot. But you rub it in like that, and if it soaks in like it is there, then you can proceed. Okay. The second thing you want to do, especially if it's something that you really love, which why else would you be painting it, is you're going to want to do a test of an unseen area. And you're going to want to apply the whole thing to, you, you, you know, go through the whole process of applying it and wait for three days for it to fully dry so that you know you, what your end result is. So you don't end up painting it and having it not adhere right or not come out right. It takes different times to dry. It can dry in 20 minutes or it can take a couple hours, depending on humidity, the temperature, all kinds of variables, the material. Now, you might ask why I have it on this fancy piece of cardboard. It's because you've got to hold the can straight up and down with the paint. Resist putting on too much paint. You're going to want to put on a real thin layer to like seal it and let it dry and come back. It, myself included, you want to lay on the paint because it looks so good right away. But that, it's just wasting paint because it soaks in. So you're going to want to put a real thin layer over the whole thing and then come back after it dries. So anyway, here we go. You're going to want to start off the product until it gets a good cone. There we go. And then you go onto it. A nice light coating over the whole thing. I wanted to go back and do more, but that's not how you do it. You do it like this, and then this will seal it. We'll come back, you know, in 20 minutes, an hour or whatever, and do it again. Now, this can I'm going to want to use again. So you turn it upside down, spray it quick until it comes out like that. Now this is, it won't clog up. But again, you're going to want to start off the product again when you start again. All right, great, and we'll see you in 20 minutes or an hour. We're back. It's been about an hour, and as you can see, this is dried up real nice. See, I got some paint on my finger. That doesn't bother me, but it might bother you. It does clean up, but it, it, you might want to wear a glove. See me? I went to go shake it. You don't shake it. All right? Now, here we go. Off the product. You start off it. Good cone. Again, another light coat. If you're in a hurry, this isn't the right thing to do. You got to you want the thing to last a long time, just take your time. All right. And again, we hold it upside down. See how good it's looking? We're going to do the edges before we do the top again. Here we go. Starting off the project. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Again, resisting the urge to lay it on. Great. Fantastic. Some of these spots, like the wrinkles, we're going to take a little bit of the paint that we used on the statin over and right along this edge there, just kind of work it in rather than sitting there spraying paint on it, which is a waste of the paint. You don't, this is kind of how you want to get it into the creases and you want to, don't want to do this on the last, you want to do this before your last uh, application. This will be the third coat, and we've touched up any of the spots that were light. Kind of thinking this is going to be the final coat, but, you, you know, each, each project is different. So here we go, we're starting off the project, and then kind of the edges that I've ignored before. And very light, Trying not to resist, trying to resist that urge of laying it on. There I went, went laid on too much. But there we go. Isn't that looking beautiful? 
So anyway, this is the fabric spray paint, and we'll be back with more if there need be.